fingers you have used to dial are too fat. How Laboratories released Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo 64 in 1982. In this board game, you control Green Mario, aka Link, on a quest to save King Peach from the evil Koopa Noopa Troopa. You're in space, meaning you collect power moons to achieve this goal. To aid on your adventure, the good fairy from Pinocchio and her star children will take you across space in the Starship Enterprise with help from some of the Mushroom Kids, plus their leader, Captain Midnight. The star children turn into rabbits. Okay. Your older sister Wario, who's also the good fairy mother, helps by finding random power moons out of nowhere, possibly with the help from the Mafia. Sadly, you must pay him money for the moons, which he needs for a new Henry Hoover to join the Ghostbusters and catch aliens. You meet many people, such as Pingu the Penguin, Rosie the Robot, Jaws the Shark, and whatever the fuck this is. There's even fat money bags with pom-poms floating around asking you for jelly beans. By collecting these and force feeding money bags, they also help by farting out new planets and islands to help on your quest. The jelly beans randomly fall from the sky space, possibly flung by Zeus with a catapult. You fling jelly bean at enemies such as Yoshi bombs and evil mushrooms. You also punch these guys with your fists because nothing of a game with a G-rated system can exist without physical violence. Hidden power-ups power you up, but I can't find them. One phases you into a ghost. How does that help with my adventure if I'm already dead? There are many level themes from fire to water to ball balancing, which makes no sense. Mario Galaxy is space themed, so every level should take place on Mars, not the planet, the candy bar. There are only three bosses in this game. First is the giant rock shooting Octo, He's the hardest because you reflect the rocks back. And let me tell you, hitting the rocks back is no easy feat. Second is King Koopa Troopa Noopa Poopa Nooba. He's easy, even though he takes a hundred quintillion hits to defeat. The final boss is a baby plant. Why am I fighting a baby? That's cruel. The motion controls for this game are great. Using the controller with your head is a great way to play. Too bad it doesn't work, so you'll have to use your hands instead. The 3D graphics are amazing, but the game developers forgot to include the 3D glasses. They attempt to make them available through the online store, but the damn thing doesn't work great. There's no menu in this game, which sucks because I'd rather be reading a book than playing a game. The music is perfect. It's just one long note repeating over and over with no change. There's no multiplayer either, but who cares? I'd rather be playing with myself. Voice acting in this game is great. The actors did a good job with the text. Quick side note, why am I able to breathe in space? Not that I'm complaining, but should I not have a colossal head because of it? Seriously, where's my big head? Homer and Bart got big heads when they injected themselves into outer space. Mario Galaxy Bar takes around two and a half hours to finish, which is just too long. Come on, Sega, try to extend the length, and not in the way you're thinking. There's the possibility of a sequel coming for the Sony Xbox, which would be the same game with the same levels, only you ride around on Birdo the Purple Horse. Why is she? Why is he? Why are they not in the first game? This makes me very angry like Marvin the Martian. This game sucks, and it gets a 5 out of 5 because it's amazing and everyone should play it, unless you're under the age of 45 because it's too scary for children. Trust me kids, just stick to 5 nights of Chuck E. Cheese. It's more aimed to your age group. That concludes today's review. Tune in next time for my review of Half-Life 3 with special guest Dick the Smack. That's right. He's alive and locked in my basement. The pastoral gamer is keeping tabs on him. Sorry, I have to go now. Since my adopted son Casper is causing trouble again. Hey dog, get off the damn bed.